Tonight on Lazy Tutorial, we find ourselves in Lake Merritt location. Made for a good setting to paint this uh, little gouache painting. Uh, I'm calling this, I think I'm going to call this title Making Mud in Lake Merritt because I kind of made mud, but I also sort of set myself up to make mud. Um, I brought a kind of interesting palette. It was made of uh, burnt umber, yellow ochre, lemon yellow, permanent white, and this, this bright cadmium orange that just looked unreal. And so I just, I kind of started off with mud except for the cadmium. Oh, and then I had cypress green for the blue, so a very warm blue. Um, my neighbor and I, Ryan, were basically racing against the sun, as you'll see. Um, and we, we kind of missed it, but it was fun anyways, right, Ryan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ryan felt it. Ryan did a really cool painting, too, that you should check out. Okay, so just started plying as much as I could. Wanted to just cover the palette with this. And uh, as you can see, it's very kind of cool green, I mean, cool grays and uh, a brown. Okay, now see when I did those trees right there, I knew I'd messed up. I, I had done them, and then right then Ryan said something about James Gurney, like just covering the palette. And I was like, yeah, come on. I got to just cover the palette. So I just washed over it. And now you can see me just putting lots of layers on the lake. Um, you know, I'm trying to capture, I think, oh, that's not a bird poo, actually. I think that's just me spilling paint. It looks like a bird poo, though. That would be a really close bird poo. Do you see that, Ryan? I, this is the first time I'm looking at this video. Kind of. Okay. I looked at it on my phone, so not on this. Anyways. Um, okay. Trying just to put in a little bit of trees and... Uh, Oh, what I was going to say about the lake was the whole time, yeah, here it is again. I'm trying to capture that look that lakes have where either it's uh, the depth has changed or I think more it's where the wind is hitting it and there will be big sort of waves or ripples and uh, and then these smooth parts and that's kind of what you see there. I added some ducks, of course, needed some kind of subject matter and that was alive. Other than, you know, there's all these people going by you see in the time lapse. I should have tried to paint that in there, right? Don't you think? Um, oh, look how dark it's getting now. Yeah, it definitely is getting dark. I remember Ryan and I started talking about getting some sushi. And uh, here is the detaping for all you uh, audio tactile fanatics. I can't help but think that some people like this part. But, yeah, peeling. Okay, yeah, so there's there it is. It's kind of a gray medium range. But it was nice. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta figure out the length of these things. I feel like I'm not saying much. I just don't have enough time. Alright. 